Yo, y'all getting blessed tonight. Like, when I tell y'all, like, I know y'all hear this. Get y'all questions ready so when LeVar come back, we can ask him, Tracy, you staying up with us? Greg, what's up? Get y'all questions ready. Go ahead and ask them. Esquire Chi, what's happening? Taylor Construction. Ugo, you back, bro? Oh, look, y'all jumping right back in. What's up, Ugo? Happy holidays to you. Happy New Year, man. Zave, I see you. Look, I appreciate you, Tracy. Oh, you got to look. You said I got another hour for you. Let me see. Let me see. LeVar, send that request. I think you just came in. Can you uh, fix your, 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 your titles to your uh, live? Because it's spelled wrong. I can, yeah. Oh, all right, when we're done. All right. Bye. I'm looking for you. Did you come in yet? There you go. Zave, they definitely was hating too much game. You back? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You'll yeah, be back. All uh, right. You know, I, IG was hating on us. He was giving them too much heat. They had to, they had to try to silence you. <laughs> nah, man. I just like to talk about the game. Word, it's just... That T word. Ever since you said that T word, they cut the sound. Well, you know, yes, it's, it's, it's you, you Trump and all that. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. Like the, the people, I, I, I tell people all the time. Malcolm X had a great speech called the. Um, he talked about the wolf and the fox. He basically broke down the wolf just can't control his inability to be who he is. He just, that's just who he is. He's going to be who he is, vicious and whatnot. Right. But the fox, the fox will lower you in, tell you everything is good, and then line you up for a steak dinner. <laughs> now, in my mind, Trump was the wolf. Right. I don't know, is Biden the fox? We shall see. We shall you know, you, you got you to gotta look at this thing and, and analyze it, break it down. Sometimes you got to sit back and, my thing is with us, we need to start voting for what's important to us. Who's going to do something for me? Why you got my vote? Right. If you're not going to do nothing specific, why am I voting for I don't care if it's a lesson or two even. Sometimes you can step your ass back. You step out of the way. You got to understand, like, right now in our community, we're not the minority no more. Hispanics are minority. Mm. So, therefore, people are going to cater to what the, the, the class of people that they need to cater to. You know, I've, other cultures, I've never seen them get beat up in the street like how we do, by the cops. You're not coming from a position of strength. We have all the strength in the world. We just got to spend that money. Well, you, in this country, green, green, huh? Stop spending that money as a consumer. Yeah. That money got to bounce in our own community. Oh, listen. This thing like the NBA. This thing is like the NBA. You got the Sixers, the Celtics, the Heat, the Bucks, the Lakers. They all on the same team, and they fighting to get to the chip. African Americans, you got the Asians, you got they all. We all. It's a, it's a squad thing. Everybody got to you know. But if 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 you fighting on your end squad, you fighting your own people. How you gonna get somewhere? Right. We all just gonna keep pulling each other down. Yeah, because like because you don't understand that you on a team. The whole point of this thing should be trying to get to the chip. And we got to get together to get to the chip. Stop fighting each other over everything. And then think about us, and it's unfortunate because, you know, growing up, we played the dozens. We like to talk about each other. That's our thing. Memes. Soon as somebody have a bad turnaround, we got memes going around. Right. Come on, man. How you expect somebody to, to, to bond with you? As soon as he have a, dude, go through adversity, you're going to talk about it. Right. But that end, I'm going to just say the generation above me and above them, we need more of y'all to keep reaching back 
giving us that information, like, or not give at least being accessible to provide this information. It's like you said, they're not teaching us this stuff in school. I don't care. Yeah, you know what? And, and I would probably say that's probably, that's real true. Um, the one thing I saw where, when I first got in, I was looking for bigger developers to be out there and drop the ladder back down because, unfortunately, I, the way I've been coming through, I've been going trial and error. It, I didn't really have, I had people here and there that would show me certain things, and, but it wasn't like somebody put me up under that cuff and gave me five years of mentorship and was like, this is how the game go. I had to go figure it out, trial and error, and that takes a long time. You know, a lot of these other dudes, you got to look at their history. A lot of these other developers in the city, look at their history. A lot of them either work for a developer or works in some type of financial space where they learned. They learned how to do the stuff. They learned how to, how to put together the deals. They learned how to finance them that, that cash. They learned how to go to them family offices and get that institutional money. They learned how to do it. So when they came out here, they already had a game plan set up. Right. So they was able to fast you know, the system that way. Exactly, because now, you know, it's like somebody gave you the cheat code. Right. Come on, man. Like, think about it like this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw something in the people that's on here just to, get, just, to, just to intrigue that mind. And I talk about this all the time. Anybody know me? I'm into science and history. That's just, that's just who I am. The Wright brothers flew, I think, 1909 for like nine seconds. Right? I'm going to say something that's going to tear some people up. The Wright brothers flew in 1909 for like nine seconds, right? On a, on a, on a dag on toothpick with, with, some, with some wings on it, right? You, we, we agree. We Google this. Right. In 1968, we got off the planet, dropped on the moon, came back home. In 60 years, you just learned how to fly. Now, somebody somewhere helped you bridge that gap, whether it was from this planet or another one. But that's a whole nother story. All I'm saying is when someone gives you the blueprint, if you was in school and someone gave you the answers to the test, you ain't had to go through all that. That's where the right mentor, but if the person that's giving you the information don't know, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> but how you gonna teach me something you don't know where you're going? Right, the, the Instagram guru, right. I mean, listen, everybody on, on IG and social media is not, you just got to vet everybody, man. I'm not, I'm not here to knock, a knock nobody because the one thing they are doing, it may not be all quality information, but they're giving you something to go off. Right. Remember I said, at the end of the day, now I see it's not about the quality of information. It's about how efficient you can put it out in the street. So they give you something to do. You can get enough of the juice of it to say, okay, I can run with that. But it's up to you to do the history. It's up to you to do all the due diligence. It's up to you to sit back and do everything you need to do to find it because it's there. Right. So, you know, I, I tell people that all the time, like, you, you got to look for the, for the information and then understand it and then go from there. Okay. All right. Well, so, so, so again, let's get, let's, Get our mentors. Let's add to the repertoire. Mentorship. Bet your mentor. But get your credit up. Most of all, get your credit up. You can do whatever. Get that credit up, man. Get that credit up, man. And then the first, when you want to start doing deals, I, I tell people all the time, wholesaling is good because it teaches you how to evaluate a deal. Because that's what, listen, listen. The acquisition side is more important than anything. You can't change what you pay for the property, man. Okay. This is what happens when you overpay. And you overpay. Now you sit there and say, well, damn, I, you know, I had a $75,000 budget. You know, I was only going to pay twenty five dollars for the crib. I paid thirty five, dollars but I'm going to take that. I paid ten grand more than I was supposed to, so I'm going to take the seventy five, dollars then make it to sixty five. We know how these we know how these jobs go. <laughs> we, know, we know how this is going to go. If your rehab budget was six seventy, yeah. if it was seventy, it was eighty. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm saying. You know how this is going to go. We know how this is going to go. We're going to get to the end, and now we're going to be trying to decide between the hardwood floors or the laminate. <laughs> because that's where the money at the end it finishes. Right. I could go to anybody's job. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. I know that budget got messed up. I know. <laughs> you got it done. But that budget got, that budget got blown. I know. Because okay. I can look at it. But you can't change what you pay. But sometimes you can go over if you paid the right amount of money. 
because you still got room for error and process. You got room. You got room for error. The most important part is the start of the process. This ain't nothing but stacking cake together, man. Acquisition, cost of the money, cost of the plans, rehab, this is what you into it for, this is the value, and what's your spread after that? It's simple. But if you pay too much, you start it off too high. And then you're trying to squeeze down the, 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 the renovation, and while you're in the middle of that renovation, now the, 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 the HVAC guy talking about, oh, man, the cost of the, the, the condensers went up. and You know, I need more for this and that. And then the city want to do this and that. And, and then now it's like, oh, man. Or you can't find your guy that was doing them, them HVAC units for 5000 a pop. He didn't got tied up because the board took him and he didn't gave him 30 HVAC Jones to do. You only got two. So now you got to find somebody else and the other boys want seven. Right. Oh, no, now, yeah, no, now, now, now it's, it's all jacked up now. now because now it's a trickle down effect. Right. right. So you can't, you can't change what you buy, but at the same time, you got to get through these jobs. The one thing you don't want to do, I tell you, is you do not want to go back to your lender and say, I told you it was going to be seventy five thousand. I messed up. I need another twenty five thousand. But that's so what's going to happen. That's where your credit comes into play because you got an emergency. You pop that. You need the reserves. You got to have some reserves. You got to look at. Listen, I need six months, eight months of reserves in my bank, just in case the nonsense go down. Just in case you get COVID and they tell you you can't put nobody out. And you got to keep them in there. Right. Tenants ain't paying. You got to have them reserves. It's going to hurt. I know. It's going to hurt. <laughs> Nobody want to tap into that reserve. You feel good when you can look at that app every day and see the amount of money you got in there. Right. And when they look different, it starts to suffocate you. But you got to tap into that reserve. Okay. All right. So that, so we got that. And don't forget, the case of, what did you call it, ad money? You gotta have yeah. You gotta take a little something off the top just to just to blow, just to, just to blow. Cause hey, if if you don't do that, you're not gonna refresh. You're not gonna replenish your mentals, and just go out. Cause you you got a ball in our community. We 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 have to, we have that in our blood. The ball and we, it's just it's just in us. You need a little taste, just a little taste. Yeah, I, I'm from North Philly, man. Where your crib look like Jack, but you got the net the newest Air Jordan going. You still. But as long as you look fresh, it's all good. Oh, everybody in the pandemic got Jordans now. Jordans ain't, you know, that's the, that's a must. Yeah, I mean, you, you got to look good. That's that's the one thing, and I we got to look. We got to look the part. <laughs> you, you know, you may not have none in your bank account, but you got to look the part. Okay. See, my thing has always been like I didn't. I'm. I can wear the same clothes every day. I can wear the same. I can eat this, almost the same foods every day. I just that's just me. But I, you know, I, so my thing is just go ahead and just, you know, just get to it and make sure that you, you put everything in place to, 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 to weather those storms. And at the end of the day, man, you just got to have some people around you. I got a couple of friends that I talk to every day and we are very transparent about money. When you get transparent with, with some of your people and you can actually say, I made this, I got that, I got this. See, we were, as young kids, we was taught, don't talk about money. But so, no, it's, it's tough. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You, know, you tell your homie, like, yo, I just got this bag. Now he like, now, you know, when you go out, he like, yo, you know, you got it. Go ahead and pack. The homie you talking to, who you being transparent with, is getting the bag right along with you. So he doing the same type of shit you doing. Okay. So it ain't no hate. See, me and you both can get to 10, 15. Then it's no problem. But if you struggling and you don't have no clue, then it's gonna be a problem because you feel like I'm up. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta decide who around you you could talk like that with, and have those conversations. I don't talk like that with everybody. Nah, some people, but because we talk like that because it helped, it helped some of us get through certain things. When a boy tell you, look, I went over here and got this, and this is what I got. He had validity to the fact that he told you. He gave it to you. He showed you. So you went out there and did it. And that's the part. Other cultures, man, they have meetings about this. On a regular. Listen, man, I, I have watched other cultures, man. I, listen, man, and I commend them because um, I have a lot of Jewish attorneys around me. And I, like I said, I sat back and I watch. I'm, I, I commend them. I said, man, they get together, man. They, you could tell 
They fight for their own. They own. I get it, man. There's nothing wrong with that. I I commend them. They they take it around. They do what they, they do, and they talk about money. Well, we doing this. We doing that. They have conversations about it, so it becomes comfortable. We don't do that. You don't want to tell your girl what you got, how much you got in the bank. You're keeping certain things. You know what I mean? Like, everybody got an emergency account in case the thing don't go right. <laughs> <laughs> how you going to get somewhere when, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> come on now. Like, it ain't. And honest. Huh? Like, how you going to get somewhere when you're not being fully transparent and honest? Especially when it comes to that money. Because if we're trying to buy a house together, you should be on that, on that deed, too. Right? Your credit should be good. Right. And if we saying this is we gonna buy this you know five, six hundred thousand dollar crib, how are we gonna do it? Like, listen, like how we gotta get into it. The thing about it, you got you gotta set up like this. You gotta set up to where it's like anything you do today is what's gonna affect you three, four, five years from now. You gotta start setting new plays up early. Whoa, wait, 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 like, wait, wait. You just shook it up again. You shook it up again. Yeah. Anything I do today, it gotta be setting me up for yeah, think about it. A lot of develop developers will tell you nobody bought that lot last week and built it next week. Right, but so all right, so real quick. So I, again, the problem of or even that mindset, and we've been like I said, it's a couple cats I've been r r running with. We've been talking like yo, I'm like yo, all this shit is wrong. Not what we've been doing, but our thought process behind it. Because I might buy, a, I'm buying a house tomorrow. Matter of fact, I'm starting demo tomorrow. I got a note that start tomorrow. So, you know, I want to get to it now. But that money, I am I used to look at it like, yeah, I'm going to get this money super quick so I can go do X, Y, and Z. But no, the thought process now is I'm taking that money to buy something that's going to put me in position. Like you're talking about the level of I can buy me a six unit. I can buy me a six unit. That money ain't my money. It's money to keep it through. We got to start thinking in terms of 1031 exchange. Mm. See, just the thing is, you, you got to understand, okay, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to do this project. Five years from now, I'm going to sell this job. I'm going to take the cash and roll it into something else. I mean, they taught us this Monopoly. You, you, you got taught the game in Monopoly. It taught us the game. The game was given to us in Monopoly. Everybody put it like this, man. I played Monopoly with numerous people, and I love playing Monopoly. I love the joker that, that get in the game and don't buy no property and just want to go around and go collect 200 Because what happens is, in the beginning, I go broke. I done bought properties up, right? I'm broke. I ain't got no money, but they got a stack of cash sitting on the side. But I know what's going to happen. Eventually, I'm going to leverage some of the Jones that I don't have all the connecting lots. I'm going to leverage them back, get half of that. I'm going to take that bread and put it on them, start building them houses up. And eventually, you're going to land and you're going to come see daddy. Now you got it. <laughs> You're going to come. You're going to come see me. I'm going to give you. Listen, listen. You're going to land on my John on Marvin's garden. I'm going to set the sheets up for you. It's going to be 1,200 thread count sheets. I'm going to hook it up. And you're going to pay that. You're going to pay that money. I'm going to hook you up. You're going to come see me. You got to come see me. Right. You're going to come. And I'm going to get in that. And then you're going to go bankrupt. But the thing is, they gave you. Think about it. You got three parcels. What they teach you in Monopoly? A lot of assemblage. They, they, they taught you consolidation of lots. In Monopoly. Put three of them down. You get a couple houses on it. You trade the houses in. Turn 31 exchange to put the hotel on it. Or the apartment building. Mm. They taught us the game. But, the game was right there. Right, but, but Bart, I'm saying to you... If I'm, I'm not saying, I'm just saying, and you, most people get in, in this game, especially real estate, most people get in my situation. If this is my first I hit the lick, how can I, like, how do I pivot not to need that money right now? But you know, it's like, like you said, I'm taking care of grandma, I'm taking care of my cousin. So, like, if I, by the time, let's say it takes me six months to do by the time I get 40 grand, that 40 grand is already technically fit in my mind. Well, you know how it go. You know, you, you got to pay the IRS. You got to pay, this is the thing. The thing about Philadelphia, you got the IRS, you got the state, and you got the city. You got to pay the IRS, state one day money, and the city hits you twice. City hits you for what you're going for this year and what they want for next year, up front. 
right? And you got the universe that show up. I tell people this all the time. The universe, the universe got the hand out. Check engine light, come on. Wait, wait, that's right. That's right. All the stuff you've been holding off, all this time show up. When you get the bag, when you get the bag, it come in. The universe comes in. The universe love, they know when you got money. The universe know you got money, it's coming. I know exactly how this goes. Anytime I got some money, the y'all say, damn, okay, I gotta pay this, pay that, I gotta pay off some shit. And the universe, you know, the universe know you got some money. And then whatever's left, then you got. But right, then but, you got to make it work. But that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, Bart. So, like, we got, where do we break that cycle at? Where does, because you say the first, wait, throw it 1031. Now I really can't touch the money. No, 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 no. That's not how I go. That's not how I go. Put it like this. You do a deal, right? You get a building, right? The building, let's say you into it for 100, it's worth 300. You got 200,000, right? This how this how these boys is doing it. You sell the building, right? You got to pay some calls, close the call, stuff like that. He ten thirty one exchanges something else, right? All, but all this at the end of the day, you still got to find another good deal. He don't take no money out of his pocket because in ten thirty one exchange, you need an intermediary. You need somebody to hold the money that you don't take access to, and you switch it over to the new crib. This how these boys is doing it. Put it into new crib, get it up, stabilized, right? They go back to the bank. And refinance and get that money out with no taxes. Ooh. And this is why, this is why I was bitching <laughs> when Biden was talking about getting rid of the 1031 exchange, starting to mess with it. Right. You didn't have y'all done had three generations to do this. <laughs> y'all did this for three generations. And then you get up here now and just say, no, no, we're gonna change it. No, come on now. Stop it, man. Stop it. I done watched y'all do this for three generations. Y'all got y'all fill. It's like a boy going to the trough. You know, once he full, he done. Right. It's, it's cool now. Now he got, he got his fill, but I'm hungry in the back. <laughs> I'm starving. Right. My ribs is touching. I'm trying to get my fill on. Right. Now you want to change it? Right, right. Come on, man. Stop it. Right. Now somebody got to get hurt. Now somebody got to get hurt. This is what I'm saying. So this is why a lot of times it's not about, it's about what a person going to do for you. It's not about this. Like I started to understand this game a little different. I started to look at it a little different because I was sitting back, just being observant. I was like, "Damn, we can't do this," you know. You know, it's it's like yo, it's, it's like it's like with the wholesale game. We just got the information. Paul's just learned how to take a contract and flip it. The first time I learned how to flip a contract, I found it on accident. I, when I first started, I started going to the share of sales. Oh three. I was hearing these boys assign the bid, assign the bid, assign the bid. Didn't nobody want to break that mess down. Didn't nobody want to tell you nothing. Right. This thing happened by accident. My cousin's mom buys a crib from Sheriff's Cell thinking that she could go and get a loan on it from a tax sale. But she could get a loan at the time, but she didn't know how to get a rehab loan or a construction loan. They called me on the phone. My uncle called me, yo, such and such, you know, it was this, this is how things come full circle. And I tell my cousin this all the time. My cousin that works with me that does the wholesale business. Right. That was his mom. His mom showed me how to flip crib at the sheriff's cell. So she had, she had to slip. She has to slip, right? So my uncle called me and was like, yo, Vard, got to slip, this, this, and that. And then... Me and her go down to the sheriff's office, and it's like, well, she got the slip. She don't want to pay, but I, I'll pay, and I'll finish the bid. They was like, well, we need you to write a piece of paper and get it notarized saying that such and such assigns the bid to you at this price. Fell into your lap. I go upstairs, go get it notarized. I come back. I said, this how they been doing this shit. <laughs> oh, shit. The game, that's what I'm saying. And now, when the information gets around because you got social media, everybody talking, now the, everybody done figured out how to do it and everybody's doing it. But you got to remember, Bulls is wholesaling on a big level too. Nobody know that. Look up the history of the Divine Lorraine. That job been flipped about four, four times before Bloomfield got in there and redid it. Okay. Bulls buying Jones is reselling. 
Come on, man. That's why, that's why if you look at the bill, it has nothing to do with commercial. It's all residential. Which bill? Which bill are you talking about? The wholesale bill. It don't have nothing to do with commercial properties. It's all residential. That's what they, it's, it's for residential wholesalers license. It's not for commercial. Hey, they let that alone. They're not going to mess with the big dog. Come on, man. Like, come on, man. People still got to eat, man. Stop it. Man. Stop it. Mm. Stop it. Mm. Yeah, look at things. Sometimes you got to look at the thing and say, okay, okay, I see what's going on. I get it. So, but, you know, in some aspects, people, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it was all wrong. I understand why they did it because the constituents were complaining about everything that's going on. There were certain people that's buying, taking people's houses. They, they was doing, doing dirt. They was doing dirt. You're always going to have the knuckleheads in the bunch. That's just the way everything is set up. When you went to school, you got the good kids, <laughs> you got the kids that's okay, and you got the stone cold villains. Right. That's the yin and the yang. That's the way the game, that's life set up. That's the yin and the yang, the good and the bad. It gives you balance. Without the knuckleheads, you don't know what the hell we're going to be going for because you don't know what pain is. Right. That's just the way the game is set up, but that's just what it is. But that's just how they did them. You know, so, you know, it is what it is, man. Right. You just, just got to learn how to get around it, you know, look at things and say, okay, this is what I got to do. Get yourself in order. Sometimes you got to sit back and think, you know, and that's, that's something I always do. I sit back and think, what do I really want to do? I, I'm not here to just chase money. I just want to sit back and think about what do I really want to do and I go from there. I can't look at what you're doing, what somebody else is doing. I'm, I'm like a racehorse. And the reason why they put blinders on a racehorse, look at it. only go straight. Because once the racehorse turned left and he's looking at somebody else and he dropped on the damn ground because he all in somebody else's damn lane. Stay in your lane, man. Mm. You do. It's not about, I'm not, I'm not fighting against, I'm fighting against myself. Can I pull this off? Can I really do it? I said it, vision. Listen, I'm gonna tell you. When I first saw new construction, like oh nine, I didn't know what the hell they was doing. It, it, it messed me up. I was like, yo, how they popping the ground and going up? I was like, what the fuck, how they doing this? And then a couple years later, it was like, oh okay, okay. I'm telling you, I, the first thing I didn't know was that underground plumbing that go on the foundation. I didn't know I'm like how you get the plumbing underground. I didn't know. Boy, that was doing it. Me and him got cool. He took me to one of his joints. He took me. He, this is that's what it is. Right. But I was pretty much already set up. But he, I got to give him all the credit in the world. And I tell people all the time, make sure you give credit where credit is due. That's one thing. That's another thing we don't do in in our community. Everybody want to be self made. Man, come on now, <laughs> y'all didn't do this by yourself, man. Yeah, everybody I did it was all me. <laughs> Out there. Really, you ain't look. You ain't looking. Such and such doing something. It's listen. You got guys running around here doing condos. I started doing condos in sixteen seventeen, and it was a philosophy behind that that was crazy. Right now, other people are doing it, but I listen. I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. She probably don't remember this, but Alexis Miles, you know Alexis Miles, right? Her pop was doing. They was the first ones. Down on um, Ridge Avenue, doing new construction, right? I came, I, I hit up. I said Michael Tucker. I think it's, I forget. I, yeah, and we still cool. We still cool on, on on social media. Hit him up. I came down there, looked at it. He walked me through the whole joint it was doing. And he was like, "We doing? He's selling his condo units." And I was like, "How the hell y'all selling housing parts?" <laughs> But the fact that they, I'm telling you, I give credit where credit was due. The first time, it really, I, was, I went down there, they took me all around on the roof. I said, damn, how they doing that? First, at first, I was fascinated because it was an African-American development. Right. I ain't seen too many of that. They've been in the game for a minute. Exactly. But when he walked me through it, I was like, yo, I took that. I, I give credit. Yeah. I, was I took that information. I was fascinated at the location, and I'm like, this, like, where y'all, like, where is this at again? You like, you, you got to know what's going on to understand. Exactly. But that's what I'm saying. But so sometimes somebody is not purposely dropping gems, but they just showing you something, and you got to take, 
you know, but at the same time, I, I was I was glad and gracious that they allowed me to walk through the they didn't know who I was. Right. You know, so but at the end of the day, I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. Right. Salute. salute. And at the end of the day, listen, man, you, you gotta you gotta salute people that came before you and you took certain things. And that's the one thing with our community, dudes will watch you do something and then duplicate it and just say, I did that. <laughs> You're right, man. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Knowing, you're right. knowing you just was at my crib. Knowing that I just showed it to you. <laughs> Get, what's wrong with saluting somebody? Right, right, right. It don't take no money to salute them. Right. <laughs> like, it don't take no <laughs> money to salute. Yeah, it don't take no money to salute somebody, man. Like, yo, right, but, appreciate that. But again, all the things we talked about tonight, it's those condition things that like we don't know why but it's in our it's in our environment of we gotta have it now you know like you said we don't want to necessarily acknowledge the people before us and at the same token we don't really want to collaborate to take the time out to help bring us up as a collective like i might tell you but i ain't gonna tell him mm, mm, that's, so, that's that's those those are the issues that you know those are the issues that we have in our culture, and those are the things that 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 need to change. I, I do applaud the guys now with a lot of information, because um, I, I sit back and watch a lot of people. Don't get me wrong; like I, I may not be, I, you know, I do a lot of stuff in my stories because that's just my thought process. So when I do that free game one hundred, it's just my thought process. So when they see through the story, that's just and I, if I see something that connects to me, and I put it on there, I'm like, yeah, this because this just you know what I mean. But at the same time, I'm watching a lot of guys give certain information, and I commend them for doing it. Um, now, all of it may not be correct, but I understand the new culture. It's, it's almost like, am I frat? So, you know, when I was in school and we was going through, the old head frat brothers would always look at us as like the microwave brothers. They always felt like we came through a little faster. We had a little better edge on and stuff like that. And then the, the young guys were always think it was a little bit of hate. Like they was hating on us, this, this, and that. They didn't hate. They just came up with a different generation. I look at some of the younger guys doing it now, and then I'm like, okay, I see what's going on. I may not agree with all of it, but I get it. And that's how they figuring it out. Right. And it's good because they are sharing information better than what we was doing. But he said, "What well, Fred? I'm a Catholic dog. I'm new, you know, Catholic <laughs> So he's, yeah, he want to know. <laughs> but you know, um, it's it's it is what it is, man. Like you know, you you got to learn certain things, certain principles, and you you take and duplicate them things. But you ain't gonna be perfect with everything. Nobody is, and you just try your best to go out here and duplicate it and make it do what it do. And it's something you're gonna mess up." Right, fell forward, fell forward, but don't quit. Current on here, okay, current, you know, fellow frat brother, okay. Vaughn, fellow frat brother, I see him come to from my chapter, Vaughn from my chapter. Okay, salute, salute. But yeah, I was so. Saying, so, fell forward and don't quit. That's it. That's it. Why? Because you're gonna die anyway. You might as well die trying. Listen, we're 50 say gay on the game. Get rich or die trying. <laughs> it's over when I'm in the ground. That's when it's over. No matter what I go through, no matter what pain I go through, no matter you knock me upside my head, if I'm not, give me a break, but I better not quit. Mm. People got to read that, that poem, Don't Quit. Life is filled with twists and turns that many of us all time learn. Many of us tell that he may have one if he stuck it out. It's a lot longer than that, but you, you get the drift. You get the gist, though. We, you know. Look, we got you, man. We definitely salute to you. Like, we're not going to hold you. Look, the, the people appreciate you. I appreciate you. Definitely salute to you, man. Anything else you want to get people before we tune out of here, man? Before we go into 2021? Like I said, well, just, you know, put the work in, man. Just, just, that's just, and sometimes I even got to do this. Sometimes I get lazy, procrastinate. I ain't get that paperwork done like I was supposed to. I, I chilled. I was in the house, you bugging. I was doing something else. I was, you know, <laughs> watching TV when I was supposed to put the work in. But at the end of the day, let's just do the work. The harder you work, the more work you put in. You know, you're going to get some. You're going to get some luck hits. It's when you stop and start complaining, looking at somebody else. Listen, man, you can't look at nobody else's system, man. 
You don't know what they got going on. That's the thing. That's the thing. You don't you don't really see it. You don't know what he got going on. You don't know somebody gave him the bag. They didn't get the bag. <laughs> somebody gave him property. There's a lot of dudes out here, man, that that their parents gave them properties. And the bad thing about us in our community is that we knock them for that. I used to do that. My one of my good friends, he probably I think he was on this live. We was in college. And you know, I'm from North Philly, man. So I I only had one bathroom in the house. He had two bathrooms. That fascinated me. Like, how you, <laughs> like, what how you, you got two you, bathrooms? What you, what you yeah, now you got, I'm figuring out, did you like the Jeffersons? You're privileged. <laughs> and we was, and then my, my roommate, who's my, one of my best, we was all in the room and we was beating him. Oh, you privileged. This, you, you fresh Prince of Bel Air. And we was knocking him because his parents put him in a better situation, wanted something better for him. And we wasn't in that. That part, man, we got to stop that. And, and I had to apologize. You know, I was wrong. And then when I had to look back, I said, "Damn, that was bad." No, oh, as, like, as you know. people say, it's it's uh it's cool to be a trust fund baby. Like, it's that's yeah for not making our kids trust fund baby. The problem is we so fascinated with the hood and 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 the grind. I started muscle me, the muscle nothing. I had nothing, and I got it all with nothing. And I died with nothing. We so fascinated with that. Huh? I said, and you died with nothing and left nobody nothing. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. But the other cultures, like I told you, the girl, the, the parents gave her 75 grand. She was 25. No. Parents dropped 75 grand. So what's she going to say? This, this was so crazy about that. This was so crazy about that deal. I sold her that crib 2013. I think I paid, she paid me 285 for it. Parents gave her, parents gave her 75, I never believe 50 or 75,000, right? P game. I want to say nineteen or eighteen. She sold the crib for like three ninety. She put a bean in a packet. <laughs> got back the fifty. <laughs> look, and then could they look? Damn. Look, mom, dad, you want your fifty back? Cause they don't even need it. But I, but I can come on now. So so what's gonna happen? So. That was done to her by her parents. What's she gonna do for her kids? There you go. Right. So, but the and that's where gen and that's where generational wealth is. No, so I I watched that something similar. My second or my first flip, I bought Brewery Town. Caucasian family, mom, dad, daughter. They own both houses side by side. They was only selling one. They gave her the proceeds from the sale. They owned it free and clear. Yeah, yeah. At the table here, go do what you do. We still got other houses, but this they're like, This is for my daughter, this is for her. The cashing in accounts, she the cashing in grown. accounts. She was grown, it wasn't like she was like, I don't know, like she needed it. It looked just like they like this for you to go start your situation. Listen, man, listen, man, you cash in accounts. Your mom told you when you was when you was a kid, right? She said, When it's cold outside, make sure you put enough clothes on so that way, if you get too high, you can take clothes off. But if you come outside with not enough clothes on. You all be cold. Right. So if you got more resources than you need, then you can divvy up. You can give here, give this, sell this off, sell that off. That's what I'm saying. Like we the game was taught to us as kids. Mom told you as a kid, don't go outside and play till you got that homework done. <laughs> <laughs> until you got that homework done. We, you, listen, don't spend your money in your bank account going on a trip until your bills is paid that month. Mm. Don't start messing. Don't start messing. Stop with it. Don't, don't. <laughs> Stop it. Look, and then last thing, right? Last thing. Even for people like, yo, I'm not trying to be no real estate guru or whatever. Like, I need another avenue yeah. to build wealth. Life insurance. We don't have life insurance. Get family some yeah. insurance. You don't gotta have a bunch of property on life insurance. Yeah. Ten dollars, twenty dollars a month. You could give your family a hundred grand. Yeah, I mean that's why I said nowadays you got people teaching all that information. You got people teaching that information and and I commend them for that because they're teaching it. You know, um, the whole life, the universal life, you know, getting with certain people. Like I said, we gotta talk about money. In order for you to get good at something, you got to talk about it. You got to study it. See, I'm, I'm the type to where I read, just, it fascinated me. So I'm reading books. I'm on YouTube. Just, you know, I can, read a, I can read a book and I'm in this. I got a number of books. That apartment book you was posting, my Jones, it just came in the mail. 
So I just, yeah, you read another book, you know, like that's just that stuff that fascinated me. So that's why I was understanding what these guys. And then I go out and I see somebody else do it. And then I'm like, oh, this is what they were saying in the book. Yeah, it clicked. Because a lot of times everybody ain't going to walk you through it. Sometimes you got to sit back and look at it. And say, okay. Just like that. Then like that. He flipped this. <laughs> okay. 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 And then sit back. And then you, put, and you pop it in. And then you got to try it. It's all right to lose some money, man. As long as you try it, I, I'll, I'll, I commend anybody to go out there and try. If you tell me you lost some money because you was trying, it's better for you sitting on the sidelines, sitting and talking about somebody else and then talking about them failing. Because what happens is you go out there and fail, and then people want to laugh and joke at you and say, damn, you did this, this, that. But you but you sitting on the back. Come on, man. Anybody that talked to me, if we want to talk about new construction and you want to comment on my jaws, then let me go on your jaw and comment on yours too. <laughs> because at that point, we both can learn from each other. Right. There's certain gems I can take from you, you take from me. But if you ain't if you ain't out there in the street risking it all, swinging for the fences, can't talk. Come on now, I'm can't, gonna lose sometime. Right? Can't talk to me. Can't talk to me. You still sitting on the bench? That's what I'm saying. Like I, I'm, yeah. You know, that's that's the thing. You you got to be able to, you got to be able to analyze the game, look at it, and say, okay, this is where I want to get in, and sit back and watch it, man. Watch some of these guys. I learned that whole sit in the baddest box concept from Warren Buffett. He said it. In a documentary on HBO, it was HBO, I think it was, or Showtime, one of them. He said, "It's it's easy. You sit, just sit in the batter's box. There's no striking out, and wait to the right pitch. That's the same thing at the sheriff's cell. You watching all these people say, want we'll to talk about deal flow? All this is kill me. Six, seven hundred properties going through the sheriff's cell every month. What better deal flow is that? <laughs> sit down." Look, do your work, do the work, go around all the daggone, go through all of the properties that you want, go through that list, see what's stayed or postponed, and wait for the right one to come past when it come up and you set your number and it's bang, there you go, I got it. Mm. It's that easy. It's that easy. Look, you're going to have people that with the notepad tonight jotting it all down. To play. It's that easy. I tell people all the time, man, like, listen. You got free resources out here. People, I've seen people sometimes, they're going to break the sheriff's cell game down to you. Dog, they, they have a, a seminar that they give. Online. On, on for free. It used to be you used to go out to the, to the library, but it's a free seminar. But all you got to do is go to the sheriff's cell, sit there. I'm going to give you some free things real quick from the sheriff's cell. Free, a free gem of how to know what the hot neighborhood is. You go get the book, which the book is not licensed by the sheriff's cell, but it's a separate company that sold the book. They go get the book. You just sit there. You go through, and every one of those addresses that they go through, and the room stand up, jot it down. That's that area. And then after that, you leave there. And you got the addresses already jotted. This is where everybody went crazy up in the damn thing. Then you go around in that neighborhood and ride around. Why are they going crazy around here? Or you see who bought something. Walk up to him, yo, I saw you bought such and such. Oh, yo, what's up that, you know? Some dudes will talk to you in there. It's free. You're doing, you're doing you know, research. Recon, they call it in the military. Reconnaissance. See, I was always one to go into a neighborhood. I walk a neighborhood. I was good at seeing three, five years down the road. I could see it. I go to a neighborhood, I see it. It's just, it was certain criteria I was looking for, certain metrics. And I look at it and be like, okay. I think it's going to do something. Right. It ain't ready to build yet, but it's ready to buy. And I look at it and I buy and I get whatever I can get. Go broke. Then I wait. I got a neighborhood that's like that right now. They, they, they New construction up. And I ain't, I ain't going to get there for another two years. I got next year's projects. The year after that, I get there. But it's going bizarre right now. And I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Because I could see it. You still going to wait two more years. Well, because I got to get through them. I got to, listen, I, manufacturing, I, there's two things you got to do. Either I'm going to increase manufacturing or I'm going to sit back and chill, let my thing go on my time so I can get everything in place how I want. So while I got projects going on, I don't have to buy nothing. I can sit back, analyze. Now, now I'm trying to figure out my next play after these couple years go past. Where am I going? 
Like, right, because my thing is, I want to build apartment communities, and I'm working on something now. We're going through pre-development on some large-scale apartment communities, 100-plus units. So that's what I'm working on, and it's, it's causing me a grip. That stormwater management, and, you know, the, that phase one, phase two is, you know, if I'm learning. I'm getting my head kicked in, too. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a yes, yes. Yes, I am. I didn't know that that was that much. But... I'm going to go through the process. Even if I fail, I got a good lesson. But see, I'm, I'm the type that I fly to. You know, I done flew down Texas a couple of times, back with some other developers, see what's going on. Because you got to look at it. Every time you get on that, every time you get on that plane and you land, what do you see? Real estate. It's all over the place. No matter what. Nah. All right. Well, look, look, look. You burnt this up. You gave them enough. I got it. I got it. We got it. That's it. That's it. Give That's me, it. It's done. Give me a closing statement. Tell us them in the new year. You know your your other your projects is, is getting ready. Projects on the market. The ones I went to on Baltimore. Uh, a couple of them. The other ones is pre-sold. The other one, I think, yeah, yeah, they, they should be getting, yeah, they'll be right there. The pandemic slowed us up. Okay. Um, wrestling with these subs, but, you know, we we getting them done. All right. Well, we we get done and exit out of them and get my other stuff, other stuff running out. And I finished a couple of shitters. Okay. Which I'm done with that. The right. shitty game, I'm done. I'm done with the shitty game. That's well, it. Well, we're definitely looking forward to seeing those keep coming to the market. Keep producing great pro product. And I mean. Yeah, man, I just, you know, um. I got some things I'm working on in 2021. Like I'm interested in starting the hard money company. I started bear. I just registered bear capital funds. Um, 10%. I've always looked. Huh? 10% interest. Well, I don't know about that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you got to understand like, you know, the Delta, you got to understand the Delta where, you know, where you borrow money at or you get money at the difference between the spread between your Delta and what's going on. Um, but, I've always looked at real estate a little different um, and having things set up in fun form and class form. Um, I'm just transitioning my mind to challenge myself to go to another level. Okay. And it's, it's going to take me some time to get there and take me some time to think about it, how I want to do it. But I, I never do things that I don't want to do. Anybody, there's a couple people on this line right here that asked me to build for other people and stuff. I just didn't want to do it. Right. And I won't do things if I don't want to do it. Um, and but I you know I set up certain things now. We I've thought about building for other people, um, but I, I just wanted to make sure that it was a comfortable enough space and get your house in order. Um, unfortunately, with me, sometimes I'll run and do it, and then you know I'm I'll stress test my my process all the time. Like I want to see it fail. Okay, just to see where the kinks are. Yeah, and but sometimes you can, everyone is not equipped, you know, to push themselves to that point. I got you. You got to understand your people sometimes. You got to, you know, this this is a people's business. Um, you got to understand your people, take care of your people, make sure your people get, your people get paid before you do. Right. Um, I'm the type of way it's like, listen, man, like, if, listen, if, if if it takes it, I ain't bought a new couch in my crib to make sure I make payroll, I'm making payroll. I, I can survive without that. Right. Got you. Right. You take care of your people. A lot of times people take care of you. Sometimes you just got to, you know, you got to think about it, man. If, if you don't pay your man, he out there grinding for you. But he's watching you up here with, you got the Rolex on, you flaunting and shit. Popping bottles. Come on, man. Come on now. That's going to cause a problem. Right. The problem about to come. Right. Well, so, you know, it's just. But 2021, man, I just, everybody just get to it, man. Get, we out here. We all out here together. Get your house in order. Yeah, get your house in order. Build wealth. Buy stuff. Buy assets. Get to it, man. Get Get with the right people. Don't try to bog people down. Please don't do that. The, please don't try to bog people down. Can I pick, um, when, can I pick your brains in 2021? Huh? Can I pick your brain? No, pick your brain. Well, I'll be doing, you know, me and, me and um, you had Janelle on, on, on the, uh, we supposed to be doing a podcast. So. Okay. So we supposed to, we supposed to be out here, you know, giving the game up. So you might, you might be seeing me more often. Okay. And I think this is better. This right here is better better platform you could reach everybody this individual trying to meet you for lunch that ain't gonna work i, I you know I, I just don't have the time for that that's the pick your 
brain though. Like, yo, let's get some coffee, get some. Oh, I'm, I ate already. I ate already. Yeah, you know. But if if you get it, you get it. You get it on the podcast. Get some free game or some knowledge and whatnot. And then you know. But if you want us to go and and do some other stuff, you know, it's an upcharge, man. You know, hit the, hit the link in my bio, as they say. It, yeah, yeah. Hit I'm the link in my bio, fellas. Hit the link in my bio. Yeah, because we can talk fluff all day long, but you ain't gonna really know until. I break it down until you take you on the thing. This is how it went. This is how we did it. Right. And, you know, to really give you that that knowledge of it and say, this is how. You, and then with all the other pieces you need, because you got to have attorneys around. And a lot of this stuff don't get done. You got to understand, real estate is a paper business, man. It's The attorneys is involved with everything, especially when it comes to reviewing loan docs, certain agreements, um, you know, all those type of things that you you need all those resources, where to go to get the right people, who got who's the best zoning attorney, who's the best the best architect, and that relationship between the architect and your ZBA, your zoning attorney. I finally found a good architect. He's ain't as shit. I love him though. Cause he keep me in line because I just go. I right, do this. I think it's because I have a general knowledge of what the zoning code is. Okay. But he has an in-depth Knowledge. So when I sit there and be like, I think I could get this on this parcel. Oh, LeVar, LeVar, <laughs> LeVar. Got to read the zoning code. <laughs> this is what it says. That's it. You need that. Okay. You need that. Then you got the, then you, him and then your, your zone attorney get together and then they like magic. It's a tag team. You need that squad. But it comes times with that. You got to get that. You got to, you know, get that relationship. To where it's like, yo, you just got, and then get somebody that, that answer the phone. If I call him on the phone, he answers the phone all the time. That's that service. So I'm pay, I pay, I, I pay the price for that. Right. Because right. man, you know how it is when you get that 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 boy in that cheap man, and you figure I'm getting a deal, and then you know he going in, your paperwork ain't right, and the and point. then you wish you paid the boy that money. Right. Nah. Well, definitely looking for. I, I mean, I think that'd be dope. You and Janelle, y'all get together because I know she a wealth of knowledge. Good wealth of knowledge. Janelle been running out here for years, and she did it. That's the thing that she's done it. Right. I was I was around. We've been cool for I don't know how long. Matter of fact, right. Uh, I think 2012 when she got all them cribs at the sheriff's sale. She was selling. Yeah. Right. When she bought that package, I ain't gonna tell the address, but she bought that package. It was at a PHA auction. No, she told she told us it was PHA, right? It was the PHA. I was there. <laughs> I was there looking for stuff. I remember when she bought it. She was happy as I don't know what. <laughs> she knew what it was, and she got it done. And Janelle, listen, I'm gonna tell you something, man. For somebody I watched go through everything she went through and and, and put that work in, mm -hmm. grinding at it, disciplined. Focus. This is the goal I'm achieving. No matter what problem, and she had problems on them job sites. Right. I know, but she got them done. Now it's in her portfolio. You got to go through that pain. <laughs> you got to want to go through that pain. This this game right here will take you to the depths of hell, man, and bring you back. Right. But at the some days you you be wanting to quit this game. Right. But at the end of the day, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Oh yeah, man. Listen, man. Listen. I'm gonna tell you like this. I ain't bought nothing since 2019. It'd be 21. And I only bought one thing in 19, and that was it. And now, now I'm just going through the portfolio and just trying to reorganize the shit, Organize. bring certain debt down. When, when, the, when the pandemic hit, I just went and, I went and started looking at, okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to move this over here, pay this off, do this like this, get this thing down, this, this, and that, because I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself when this thing go down where I can go back and get re up. Right. But at the same time, you got to look at this thing and say, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and, and it is what it is, and you just go from there. You know, but you, you got you to gotta, you gotta do the work. You got to do the work, and you got to be willing to sacrifice. You don't need that right now. Certain things you just don't need. You don't need that right now, especially if you're grinding. Right. See, I know my position. I'm first generation out the box. And no backup. Ain't, ain't nobody. So I got to. Ain't nobody gonna say. Come on, me. man. Nobody. You can't. I can't look left, look right, get a hundred grand if I needed it just to get me through. This is just on you. Right. You better cash in. You get in some trouble. Like I told you, I got in some trouble one time with the lot of cash in them accounts. I ain't want to do it <laughs> because I cashed in early. Right. I made money, but I cashed in early. Listen, man. This was so crazy. I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit. I'm gonna give you some real numbers. Gotta put it in context. I had bought like six, seven Jones, like Grace Ferry. This was 
12, 13, 14. I sold them in 16, 17. But Grace Ferry didn't pop just yet. Like they were, they were a little further down. But the prices I paid for them, five, six grand a piece, two grand, fifteen hundred. I ended up selling them for like twenty, like thirty-five to forty a piece. I'm gonna tell you some crazy shit. A year later, year and a half later, the Jones was worth one twenty-five a pop. Ooh. Sick. Same lots. Same lots. The people I bought them to, they flipped them again. Oh. <laughs> it was so crazy because I had made on them. I was cool. Because I didn't think it was going to be worth that. I ain't, who knew? Right. But I'm going to tell you something, another crazy story. So I go back in the sheriff's so old head boy that's been in the sheriff's over 30, 40 years, right? He see me in there. We get to talking. I said, yo, I said, them Jones, I sold them early. He said, man, I know, I know, I know you complaining. But we had 168 of them that, that was sold for like 25, 30 grand a pop. 168 of them. He said, we made five million, but we were supposed to make 16 million. God damn. I said, all right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Let me. <laughs> you was like, I, you know what I mean? I, I, Listen. I complain no more. It's boys out here getting the biscuit. I'm messing with the kibbles and bits. Mm. Like, <laughs> I'm Whoa. just trying to get my little morsels out the game. You, you know I mean, listen. So at the end of the day, you learn from that. Right. It wasn't a loss because I made I, I made money, but it wasn't a loss. But I, at the time, I needed it because I was I needed to clear up some shit. I was got I was doing going too fast, and I had to cash in some joint to clear up some debt. I did it, and we got out the way. But I had it to do it to cash out. You got to hit that button. If you ain't got nothing, then you know now we got to figure out all types of nonsense. Got you. Uh, well, look, we definitely appreciate you. We appreciate everybody. Look, everybody locked in. They stayed with us all night. So definitely, LeVar, what's your IG for people who don't know? Bear, B-A-R-R-E-I underscore. That, look, we definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate y'all. Stay tuned for what we got to come 2021. LeVar got the podcast coming. Maybe a couple more Zoom clap, uh, live IGs. Not Zoom, but some IGs. Man, this, this, this was all right. This was, uh, it was my first time doing IG Live. Hey, look, I, I appreciate you letting me bring Yeah, you. I never did this before. Let like, you bring you into the other side, man. I, I, yeah, you know, you know. Man. That's why I called you on the phone and was like, how you do this? Like, <laughs> am I supposed to get on first and you get on? How you do this? No, <laughs> we went the whole pandemic every Thursday, but they didn't do it because I had to pivot. I need to be around people. I need to interact. Because of COVID, we couldn't do it, but we found a way. <laughs> It was a beautiful thing. We've been helping a lot of people get in the game and figure it out. So stay tuned for what's coming 2021. I'm telling y'all, it's gonna get it's gonna get crazy for y'all. We we gonna turn up some more. All right, you got it, baby. Appreciate Peace. It, Lavar. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. You too. All right.